Hello, it's Jason Payne from Cold Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Well, today I'm at the five acre lot community of Centennial Ridge in Boulevardi, Texas. This community is located off Ammon Road and really close to Blanco Road. So if you need to get access to the north central part of San Antonio, this is a wonderful community. We'll just give you a better idea of what's around here. The airport is a 27 minute drive from here. The closest HEB, or our grocery store, is a 20 minute drive. We're on the little country a little bit, so 20 minutes ain't so bad. And the elementary school is only a six minute drive. Middle school, 13 minute drive. And the high school of Smith Valley is about a 22 minute drive from here. Like I said before, this is a five acre lot community. Tax rates are right around 2%, so very cheap compared to Bear County. And yes, I'm wearing my hat and sunglasses today because my bald head does not need to get any more burnt. But uh, yeah, I've got five, I mean, I got two clients looking to buy in this community, so it's time to do some lot tours. We're gonna do five tours today, so if you're interested in this community, keep watching. Let's go check it out. All right, our first lot tour is going to be kind of a twofer because both of these lots are for sale. Uh, both can be five acre lots. They are going to be really close up front. So you're basically going to have your driveway up front and then it's going to pie off towards the back. The first one we're going to look at is kind of right in the middle of the cul-de-sac. Let me do a quick look around. You can see a house being built down there. But we are definitely at the one of the higher points in this community. There's my beautiful truck. Um, you do have a basketball court thing being set up in this cul-de-sac, and there's one of the neighbors. But wow, do you have a really nice view out here. But yeah, we don't want to walk down the neighbor's driveway. We're gonna walk down. Looks like they've already got going here. This can be 818 Lovett Ridge Road. It is a 5.01 acre lot, and this can be lot number 13. So you can tell it does uh, gradually start sloping down. Looks like we've got a couple of tiers back here, but man, this is a nice lot. The sun sets off over in this direction over here, so it would be going kind of across your house. But I don't know how well the GoPro's picking up. You would definitely have some scenic views. So yeah, you would have basically two different choices of where you'd want to build the house at. You could build it right in this location here. It's a fairly flat area. And if you did that, you could have a little short driveway coming up, have your house built, depends on what size, how wide your house is. And then you've got this one tier, one little slope down. It's not a dramatic slope. Um, but yeah, if this was the back of your house, you could have some steps going down. So if I can show kind of where it kind of slopes down. So you see it does kind of slope down and this does pie out quite a bit. So all of this section you're looking at now could be your backyard. Did a slide kind of showing where it kind of goes out but yeah this space here could either be a build site if you wanted to have a long driveway going down kind of like what the guys next door did they're building on this little plateau area so you easily could build back here if you chose to wouldn't have much of a backyard but man would you have one killer view looking out the back because if you saw on that picture I sent uh, for this property, it does pie out quite a bit. But here's the drop off. That's a pretty dramatic drop off right here going down. So anything going down, I'm not gonna walk all the way down there, uh, but that's still gonna be part of your property going down because it's a five acre lot and it goes back here pretty deep. But that can be kind of unusable unusable unless you built in some stairs but you'll have two different like build sites depending on which 
level you want it to go at. Because yeah, it's hard to tell where exactly the property lines are. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure all of this would be on your property looking at what the county had for it. But here's another part where it just dramatically drops off back over here. And you definitely have some, uh, some of those Vista views, which is very desirable. Nice little breeze up here. So this would be all on this first lot and then the other lots over on that direction. All right, let's head on back up this lot here. And oh, I've got to mention that these all these lots are going to be on well water. So they're not hooked up to the city water. So you would have to put a well in, which is, uh, I saw someone else in this community did a well for $35,000. It would be about $45,000 if you wanted to do the well and the uh, reservoir. So keep that in mind if you're considering building out here <clears throat> that there are gonna be some additional cost instead of just uh, throwing a house on it with a septic. Because yes, you are gonna be on a septic tank as well. All right, let's head on back up to the top and do the next one. All right, this lot is gonna be same cul-de-sac of the 806 Lovett Ridge Road. So I'm not gonna spend so much time, I'm gonna do a quick pan around. So we're still the same cul-de-sac, same beautiful truck, same basketball court, but this would be your direct neighbor. Uh, the electrical box there, that's gonna be the dividing spot between the first lot we toured right there. And you can see kind of where the posts are for second lot so you're really only gonna have space on both of these lots for just your driveway going back and down so let's go ahead and walk on down where this lot is you saw in that first picture it's also like I said pies out in the back Sun sets off this direction here <clears throat> so if you did chose this choose this lot it all depends on how you angle the house build uh, just on about how much sun you're gonna have on your back porch. So I can let you know, uh, as I'm filming this end of July, right now it's over 100 degrees outside, pretty damn hot, and uh, it's gonna get hotter as we get closer to 5 6 p.m. Well, once again, you could easily build up close, like what these guys did in this area here. Or, like you saw on the first tour, choose to have a longer driveway and then build down on this second level. Now, if you built, I'm watching the little flag post here, make sure I'm still in the right lot, and I am. Uh, luckily, there won't be a lot of clearing required. All right, but this space here is a very level lot if you chose to build on it. But if you did build on this section, you're really not gonna have much of a backyard. But oh my gosh, could you have some amazing views on this lot. Both of them are really nice. Kinda like the first one a little better just for the protection from the sun. Oh, asking price for this one is 425. And that first one, the asking price was 350. Sorry, bad camera angle while I was trying to get that set up. So the first one was actually less expensive. But uh, yeah, this is the lot as you see here. I think the little fire pit there is kind of, it's on this lot, but as it comes down. But once again, just like the first lot, once you reach this 
tarp that kind of drops off it drops off pretty dramatically meaning yes this is a five acre lot but only so much of it's going to be usable luckily the build sites whichever one you choose up close or further back are relatively flat so that's going to keep your foundation cost down but it goes your property line is going to go quite a bit further back this way you could use it if you built some steps into here and wanted to come down but wow this both lots have amazing views on them on the back side <clears throat> it's just how much usable space do you want to have both of them are going to have plenty of space on either side uh, and the further back you go obviously the more space you're going to have on the side lot versus it getting real skinny up toward the front <clears throat> so yeah there's you can barely see the stick there marked mount, mounting the border lines for this one and i haven't really found a middle stick that's going to be separating them but yeah like both of these lots uh the first one seems like a little better deal in my opinion but uh, it all depends on what you're looking for. All right, let's head on up and uh, look at another lot. All right, this next lot is 1149 Addison Ridge. Now this was a little bit tricky to find because if you see the little map description I have, uh, you have to go down a little bit of, so of a road and this lot is behind a different lot, but it opens up and it is 5.81 uh, acres. So this is kind of, that's gonna be the other people's property, but you're kind of tucked away right behind this wall of cedars. And you can see it just opens up to this beautiful fields of oak trees back here offering you tons of privacy and the lot much further back that way is also for sale but this area here is the lot uh, that house is that you see there that's going to be a different lot but that little black top road goes all the way up here and this is the front left corner this is all the front of the property here and this just goes back to just absolutely gorgeous very level spots so you're not going to have the gorgeous scenic views but man you're going to have tons of privacy and tons of oak trees back here absolutely beautiful and your build cost is going to be considerably lower because this is relatively flat so yeah, you could easily have uh, where I started the video off where my truck's at, your driveway come up, build your house right up here with all sorts of privacy, and then uh, have this kind of as your backyard. Let me pull up, figure out which direction we're looking at. All right, west is this way, so ideally, this is where I like to have my houses with the sun setting on the front of the house. If you've decided to put this, your house facing west, giving yourself this as the backyard. And if you want to put a big pool back here, say you have this curving up to the front of your house. This is your build site. Using this space as a place to put a pool that has going to have plenty of shade as the sun's going down during happy hour time. And man, you could just really have a really cool backyard. Uh, you can see the pin as we're going over to the edge of the property line, the kind of the right-hand side of the edge of the property is here. And then it just keeps going back this way, quite a ways. But, uh, you had no need to go all the way to the back of the property because you can see it does go back quite a ways. Let's see. I'm going to walk back a little bit. You do have some little community runoff here. No fret. It's not going to flood. But yeah, this is just beautiful. 
kind of walking down the right hand side of the property line now. And it goes all the way back to, I believe, these other, you see off in the distance there, the ridge of like cedars, because they've cleared out all the cedars that's on this property, but left the cedars as the border of the property, just to give you that privacy. But yeah. And you can do all sorts of activities back here. Lots of wildlife. Yeah, I think I see another pin back there. Or a little stick marking the boundaries. But yeah, all of this is on that lot. And it goes all the way back to where you see those cedars. So yeah, you could do really some really cool stuff back here. And nobody would be able to see you. Not that you would do anything that would be illegal. I wouldn't want anybody doing that. But this is a beautiful piece of uh, Texas land. And the seller is asking 345 and 900. So 345K, 900. But these oak trees are just beautiful on this lot. All right, we're gonna go on to our next lot tour. Hopefully uh, any of these that you find interested in, you can always reach out to me uh, by giving a call at 210-254-4425. And uh, I'll be happy to help. All the developers sold out of these lots like super fast. So all the lots I'm showing you now is what's gonna be considered the secondary markets where you do have to use a real estate agent to purchase it. And uh, if as a buyer, it costs you nothing to use a realtor. So please don't go through this process alone. Reach out to, if not me, to a different realtor. All right, let's head on back to the truck and uh, go on to the next lot. All right, remember the last uh, lot I said the other one's for sale? Well, here is the other one, address 1131 Addison Ridge. Same situation, you are tucked up behind another lot off of uh, Addison Road. My truck is kind of at the property line, you see the post there? And you got this whole wall of cedar trees separating you from uh, the road, so no road noise absolutely beautiful out here and uh, like I said this lot is relatively flat so you can easily clear out some of these cedars if you wanted to expand your front yard space that way you don't have to clear out the oak trees that are up back here these are some gorgeous oak trees or you can kind of just continue this driveway the dirt driveway you see here and go back here and build your house in the middle of all these oak trees. Because that was the, over there, that's the other lot we just videoed. And this is the other one. So if you really wanted some space to have over 11 acres, you could buy both of them. But this one is listed for 370, 900. So 370K, 900 as of late July. I do know the listing agent. Uh, he's a really good guy, but yeah, they uh, they want to get this lot sold. So once again, beautiful oak trees does have a little bit of a community drainage running through it, so you can see a little bit more of that. But yeah, you could easily build your house in this clearing back here, or clear out some of those cedars you see up the front property, build your house there, and have all of this as your backyard. Because right. yeah, you could easily just do a little walkway or so over the drainage. Oh, uh, remember earlier in the video, I talked about how easy it was to do 
an ag exemption in this community. Uh, one of the other people that I talked to that does live in this community said what you want to do is have bees on the property and uh, doing that for six months, according to her, gets you ag exemption. So you see these boxes back there? Those are the bees. So, or at least those used to be where they had bees. But uh, that's one of those tools you can use to pay very, very little property taxes on these lots. But uh, yeah, this lot does go all the way back past these oak trees, past that opening to this row of cedars back here. But once again, a beautiful, relatively flat lot. I don't wanna to get too close to those bees just in case they are active. But yeah, your lot goes all the way back here. Oh, it's nice being in the shade. Well, yeah, it's going to go all the way back. I don't want to walk all the way back there, but according to the listing agent, where you see these uncleared out cedars, that's kind of where the property line stops. But what that does give you is all of this space. You got some very mature oak trees. You got some baby oak trees. But this area has been cleared out of the cedar, which does save you quite a bit of money. Remember, you still would have to put a well on the site. But that's, uh, like I said before in the other lot, you're looking at in between 35 to uh, maybe 50,000. It depends on uh, the well company you use. And I can definitely hook you up with uh, somebody. And uh, there's different variables, how far down they have to go and all that stuff. But that's an estimate for how much it would cost to put a well in here. But yeah, beautiful lot. This one here, you can see the post where it stops back there. But uh, yeah, this is your lot. If you're interested in 1131 Addison Ridge, they've already got the dirt road coming from the main road back here. All right, let's get back in the truck and head on to the next lot. All right, here's another lot. It is Zero Pearl Oak Avenue, lot number five. This lot has a ton of frontage road space. You can see the electrical box way down there. And it goes all the way to kind of the top of the hill up there. So we're right now in the middle of the property. And if you saw the picture there, this is a weird shaped property where it just kind of gets more narrow towards the back. Now there is a slope, as you can see there, going from the front of the property down towards the back of the property. So let's just keep wandering back out here and see if it kind of levels off a little bit. Whew, it's getting hot out here. I am earning my money today, and if you're still with me, I definitely appreciate that. Of course, hoping you've hit the like button right now because I doing lot tours like this does kind of especially I think the temperature right now is 103 uh, good times I am ready for the fall to happen which is usually starts around the second or third week of September <clears throat> but we're still got that uh, slope going from the roadside going down uh, this is 5.05 acres sellers asking 375 A little more level back here as you get in back here so yeah if you wanted to have a longer driveway coming in from where my truck's at or shoot you can come in from anywhere this the front side of the road so long and does get a little more level I see some uh, little bumps back here but it still is sloping from the road slightly down not a lot of views 
from here unless you're going all the way back but you'd have to do a lot of clearing out to get some views from the back of this property <clears throat> and because these are five acre lots uh, be advised it might cost a pretty penny to get some of these cedars and stuff all cleared out that's probably why they have it listed at 375 instead of closer to 400 <clears throat> I was out here earlier this week with some clients and there's another beautiful flat lot that um, is being listed but it was listed at right about 400,000 because they had already cleared everything and already had the well in it so yeah if anybody's interested in me videoing that let me know i'm doing these lots because my client said they were interested in it okay we're hitting the edge of the property line so this is now these guys property and it kind of goes keeps going back there they were interested in uh this community so what i did was i sent them everything that's on the market as of right now they selected their top six and uh, since they're out of state they asked me to come video them so that's what i'm doing <clears throat> and i can do that for anybody if you uh, kind of know what you're looking for reach out to me i can guide you to a community that can fit those needs there's another yellow ribbon so i'm walking along the property line um then i'll send you what's available on there let you guys narrow it down yourself based on the pictures on mls and then i'll come out and video those lots because you can never have too much information so i wouldn't say there's anything wowing about this lot uh it's just a long long fronted road still a five acre lot kind of walking along the perimeter of the lot Hoping to get kind of the back to see if we can get a little bit of a view. But no, it's definitely flatter towards the back of this property. But uh, yeah, I'm not seeing much of a, a view dropping off here. We kind of end up a gentle slope down into this little valley here. So yeah, I'm not gonna have amazing views on this lot. Now the property might still go back here, but I think I might be close to the back of the property. It's tough to tell. But this is, like I said, five acres and so much of it is up on the front part of the lot. And because it hasn't been cleared out, it's tough to tell exactly how awesome this lot is or not. But I'm getting my steps in today. That's one thing for sure. <clears throat> All right, I can see kind of a little more going, a little more dip coming up this side of the property line. All right, yeah, that's pretty steep there. All right, dodge and weave. All right. I'm looking for the other edge of the property, but shoot, it might be it might be close to where you can see a little bit of build site be going on up there. <clears throat> but this lot, uh, get windy, guys. My old ass is out of shape. I know some people watch me is like 51. That ain't that old, but shoot, I'm feeling it. Not the years, just the miles. 
So yeah, this is basically what this property looks like. All right. I'm gonna turn this off so I'm not breathing as heavy on camera so you guys are laughing at me in the comments. And uh, we'll go on to the next lot. <clears throat> All right, I've now made it up to the front right-hand side of the property. Now, if you built your house kind of closer to the road, there's the road right up there, there's my truck. I've moved down a little bit. You could see some views up off in the distance here. Uh, so this lot does give you views, but it depends on what edge of the lot you go to. So yeah, you could have some views on this lot. It's just so much frontage of the property goes way down there, but this side, the right-hand side of the lot has definitely got some more lots. We're coming up to the property line kind of right up where this brush pile is kind of the property line. So yeah. It all depends on what you're looking for, but going down, the further down you go, the less view you have up front of the, near the road is definitely gonna be the best views of this lot. All right, let's head on to the last, the sixth and final lot. It's also on this road. Oh, FYI, for this lot, the sun does set on the front of the house, giving you shade on the back of the house. So that's definitely ideal. The next lot's gonna be a little bit different, but let's not talk about it. Let's show you. All right, earlier today I said I was doing only five. I guess I lied. We're doing six lots today. This final one is address 1084 Earl Oak Avenue. Property line is where my truck is at. All the way down to, uh, kind of see the electrical box where that other vehicle is right now. That's where this property line is. This is gonna be almost a rectangular lot. It does narrow a little bit towards the back, but not so bad. It is 5.05 .05 acres. Uh, they're asking 325 for this lot. Now, I mentioned in the last lot uh, about the sun. The sun is gonna be setting, uh, well, there it is right above us. It's gonna be setting off this way. So uh, you will have the sun a little bit on the back part of your property during happy hour time. But after it does slope from the front to the rear at the beginning of the lot, and then it does look like it levels off a little bit. So hey, it's listed by Cold Banker Dean Harper Roasters as well. So if any of my clients did want to purchase this lot, I would be sending out a notice notifying that Cold Banker would be representing both sides of the deal and that I cannot have any uh, contact with the listing agent, which I do not know who this listing agent is. There's a lot of coal banker offices in this part of Texas. Um, coal Banker D and Harper offices, that is. Uh, but I can't divulge any information about my buyer and they can't tell me anything that might give uh, advantage to either side during the negotiation process. All right, back to this lot. We do have, it does definitely level off back here. But man, if you were to be building a house, you're probably looking at this area here. So a lot of these oaks probably wouldn't last unless you built a very long extended driveway going back behind here. So let's go ahead and look towards the back of this property a little bit. It does go back quite a ways because yeah, it is five acres. But yeah, definitely gets very level back here, which is nice. And it's got a little bit of slopiness on this side. But lots, lots of trees, lots of woods in here. So yeah, you wouldn't have to feel too bad about clearing out some of the oaks at the very front of the property. 
because as you can see you've got lots of trees some of the less desirable the cedars here you really don't want those around those are going to be the trees with a really rough bark i'm going to show you a cedar tree right here uh, when you see this really rough bark here that's a cedar tree uh, and they soak up a lot of water you'll find them all around oak trees a lot so here in the texas hill country those are not desirable trees to have so when people buy a lot they're only supposed to get rid of the oaks at the last resort if it's near the build site but cedars green light to clear them all out but yeah it gets quite nice back here so if the sun is setting back there and you've got a nice uh coverage of trees well then it doesn't really matter what side the uh sun setting on okay i see a property marker back that away but we are still on the property line i mean inside the property that's for sale at 1084 earl oak avenue Whew. i am ready to get home and get a nice cold shower Well, yeah, once you get past that front little slopiness, it's really a relatively flat lot. You would have to spend some money clearing some of these cedars out. And remember, you still have the cost of putting a well in. But yeah, not a bad lot. Especially the price of only $325. It's just I do wish the sun was facing the other direction. That's personal preference to me. Kind of like having a happy hour on the back porch. But we're about to get into some pretty thick cedar brush here. And I guess I do have my sunglasses on, but you know what? I don't feel like crawling all the way back there. This video here should give you a pretty good idea of what this lot looks like. <sighs> but yeah, if you're out of state and looking to buy in this area, please reach out to me. I know I'm complaining about the heat and all that good stuff, but I really don't mind doing this for my clients. This is something that I feel separates me from other realtors. So, and it doesn't cost you anything to reach out to me and have me do this for you. I like to show my value. And I show my value through my uh, videos because it, uh, pictures just don't do lots very much justice. So it's always good to have someone boots on the ground coming out videoing these lots for you so you can help narrow down your decision a little bit all right getting a little bit of a slope here So the slope isn't all just from the front to the back. There's kind of a angled slope. If you're interested in any of these, I can pull up topography maps to show even more information. All right. All right, like I said, as you can tell, there is quite a bit of a slope on the very front part of this property. Here's what I found. Oh, shush. All right, that's gonna do it for this very sweaty realtor right now uh, with the tours of the lots of Centennial Ridge. Remember, these are all five acre plus lots, very conveniently located to North Central San Antonio. This is in Boverde, Texas. 2% uh, tax rate, right about 2%. Uh, potential of ag exemption on these lots. You have to put a well in. But uh, yeah, a lot of going for in this neighborhood. And there's actually a lot of lots for sale right now. These are just these six that my clients asked me to get more information on. So hopefully you found this informa video informational. Sorry, I am tired. Uh, and if you did hit that like button, please, please, please subscribe to my channel 
And as always, share these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. Bye.